Welcome to Forehand Frenzy. If it's tennis you love love, then game set watch today's video. In the world of tennis, Jim Courier was a force to be reckoned with. He took the game by storm in the 1990s, dominating tournaments and winning grand slams left and right. But just as quickly as he rose to fame, he fell from grace. So what happened? In this video, we'll take a closer look at the rise and fall of this tennis maverick, exploring his triumphs, struggles, and everything in between. Are you ready? Let's dive into the story of Jim Courier. Known for his consistent and powerful backhand, Jim Courier rose to the top of the ATP rankings in 1992. He won the French Open in both 1991 and 1992, and then went on to win the Australian Open in both 1992 and 1993. This made him just one of four players since Rod Laver to have achieved a career Grand Slam. His very public rivalry with Pete Sampras also provided an exciting backdrop to these two championship years. Jim Courier was born in 1970 in Sanford, Florida, the youngest of three boys. His father, Tom, was a mortgage broker, and his mother, Mary, was a homemaker. The family lived in a middle-class neighborhood and attended Catholic Church every Sunday. Courier's older brothers, Tim and Dan, were both talented tennis players, and it wasn't long before Jim developed a passion for the game as well. Courier began playing tennis at the age of eight. He quickly showed promise, winning his first tournament at age nine. By 13, he was ranked number one in the state of Florida for his age group. It was around this time that Courier began to take his training more seriously. He started working with Nick Bolettieri, one of the most renowned coaches in tennis history. Under Bolettieri's tutelage, Courier transformed from a promising young player into a world-class athlete. In 1988, Courier graduated from high school and turned professional. He enjoyed immediate success on the Pro Tour, winning his first tournament just months after turning 18. The following year, he made it to the quarterfinals of Wimbledon, an impressive feat for any player, let alone a 19-year-old rookie. Courier's early successes stunned tennis fans worldwide. His early years on the ATP Tour were nothing short of stunning. Before winning back-to-back -back French Open titles in 1991 and 1992, he defeated the likes of Andre Agassi and Peter Korda. He also won the Australian Open twice in 1992 and 1993, and reached the final of the US Open in 1991 and 1993. In 1992, he achieved his career-high ranking of world number one. Courier's playing style was characterized by his powerful serve and forehand, as well as his relentless competitiveness on the court. He was known for his intensity and his never-say-die attitude, which often helped him turn around matches that seemed to be going against him. Despite his on-court success, Courier's personal life was plagued by troubles. He was married three times, and each marriage ended in divorce. He also struggled with substance abuse, and in the mid-90s he entered rehab to deal with his addiction. He was also diagnosed with clinical depression and instructed to take medication for it. As Courier's playing career began to wind down, he experienced financial difficulties linked both to substance abuse and divorce. In 2009, he was forced to sell his Florida mansion for $3.5 million after defaulting on his mortgage. Two years later, he filed for bankruptcy, listing debts of more than $10 million. Despite the ups and downs of his career, Courier's legacy as one of the most successful tennis players of his generation is secure. He won four Grand Slam singles titles and spent a total of 58 weeks at the top of the world rankings. He was also part of the U.S. team that won the Davis Cup in 1992 and 1995. Following his retirement from the professional tour in 2000, Courier worked as a commentator and coach and can often be seen courtside interviewing today's top tennis stars immediately after their Grand Slam match victories, for instance at the U.S. Open. He also became involved in charitable work, including founding the Courier's Kids Foundation, which provides funding for tennis programs for underprivileged children in various parts of America. In conclusion, Jim Courier's career is a testament to the fact that success in tennis, as in any sport, is not just about talent and hard work. It also requires resilience and the ability to cope with personal struggles and setbacks. Despite facing a number of challenges both on and off the court, Courier remains one of the most respected and admired figures in tennis, a man whose grit and determination to push through struggle to higher peaks of excellence, no matter how insurmountable the obstacles first appear, will continue to inspire generations of players to come.
One little known fact about Jim Courier is that he had a passion for music from a young age. As a child, he learned to play the guitar and was heavily influenced by classic rock bands such as Led Zeppelin and the Rolling Stones. While his tennis career took precedence as he grew older, he never lost his love for music. In fact, he has been known to play gigs with his band, the Jim Courier Band, at various tennis tournaments and other events. In addition to his love of music, Courier has also been involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout his career. Earlier, we mentioned the Courier's Kids Foundation, which provides financial assistance to families with children who have chronic medical conditions. Jim founded this in 1993, and he has also been involved in numerous other charitable causes, including the Andre Agassi Foundation for Education and the Arthur Ashe Foundation for the Defeat of AIDS. Another interesting aspect of Courier's life is his love for travel and adventure. He has been known to take extended trips to exotic locations around the world, such as the Amazon rainforest and the Australian outback. In fact, his love for travel is one of the reasons why he retired from tennis at a relatively young age, as he wanted to explore the world and pursue other interests separately from hitting tennis balls. Despite his success on the tennis court, Courier has faced his fair share of adversity in life. One of the biggest challenges he faced was the death of his father, who passed away when Courier was just 19 years old. This early loss had a profound impact on Jim, and he has since spoken openly about the mourning, difficulty, and emotional upheaval that he experienced during that time. Courier has also been open about his struggles with depression, which has been a recurring theme throughout much of his life. In a 2016 interview, he discussed how he had sought therapy and medication to help manage his symptoms and encouraged others to do the same if they were struggling with mental health issues. In recent years, Courier has remained involved in the world of tennis as a commentator and analyst. He has provided powerful insights and expert analysis and commentary for various networks, including ESPN and the Tennis Channel. He has also been involved in coaching, having worked with the U.S. Davis Cup team and coached several top players on the ATP Tour. In conclusion, Jim Courier's life is multifaceted and full of interesting details. From his love of music and travel to his philanthropic efforts and struggles with mental health, there is much more to the man than just his impressive tennis career, as stellar and unfathomably successful as that was. Despite his many accomplishments, he remains humble and down-to-earth, and his willingness to share his personal struggles has revealed a human side to this tennis titan that has endeared him to many fans around the world. He has shown us that success is not just about winning matches, but also about resilience, perseverance, and giving back to others. His legacy will continue to inspire and motivate players for generations to come, and he will always be remembered as one of the greatest tennis players of his era. The story of Jim Courier is a cautionary tale about the price of success and the importance of staying grounded and focused on what truly matters. His rise to the top of the tennis world was impressive, but it came at a cost. The pressures of the sport, combined with personal struggles, took their toll on him both emotionally and financially. Yet, Despite the setbacks he faced, Jim Courier never lost his passion for the game or his desire to make a positive impact on the sport and the world around him. No matter how talented or successful we may be, we are all human and subject to the ups and downs of life. But with hard work, resilience, and a dedication to something greater than ourselves, we can overcome any obstacle and leave a lasting legacy that will inspire others for years to come even in such an unpredictable, mercurial, and seemingly fickle sport as tennis. Jim's rise to the top was meteoric, with Courier achieving milestones early on that few players ever attain over the span of their entire career. However, his decline was just as swift, and while his legacy will endure in tennis history books for years to come, it serves as a lesson that those at the very top must work even harder than those below them if they wish to stay there. Thanks for joining us on this exciting journey through the life and career of Jim Courier. We hope you enjoyed reflecting on his rise to the pinnacle of the sport and what makes him such a special tennis talent. From his impressive performances on the ATP Tour to his love for music and charitable work, Courier is truly a well-rounded athlete. Be sure to keep an eye out for his future coaching, commentary, and mentoring, as we're sure he'll continue to lift the tennis world up.
And don't forget to stay tuned to Forehand Frenzy for more exciting content and updates on all things tennis. So, whether you're a diehard tennis fan or just getting into the sport, we hope this video has left you feeling inspired and ready to hit the court. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Forehand Frenzy.